Yo, what is up guys? Before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe. I got a bunch of good content coming out, so you wouldn't want to be, you know, like unsubscribed or anything. So anyways, this is going to be a tier list for agents for Immortal to Radiant. You can include Diamond if you want to. Now anyways, kicking things off with Breach. Now Breach is an insanely good support because he's a type of support that you can play like aggressive or passive with. And not only that, but like your duelists are going to be extremely good in um, Immortal or Radiant or Diamond or whatever. So like being being their initiator and like helping them create plays can like help you easily catch people off guard and can be and can basically just get your jet easy kills and win a bunch of rounds for you. So Breach is definitely like an A tier agent. Next off with Brimstone. Now, he's gonna be in C tier. If you've seen like pretty much all of my um, other tier lists, which I which I will put in like an info card or something. Um, uh, Brimstone is just like not a good controller. Like he's the worst controller by far and he's outclassed by every single other controller. Even though he has like really, really good smokes, his utility is just not as good as the other controllers. So that's why he's gonna be C tier. It's not that he's like insanely bad or anything. It's just that um, there's a bunch of agents that are better than him. And next off we have Cypher. Now, Cypher, this might be a controversial pick, but um, he's still gonna be B tier for me. I, I guess if you were like thinking about pro play or something, he would be like A or maybe even S tier, but for me, he's still B tier. Cause like, even though like, he's like good, but like Sentinels aren't really that meta anymore, except for Sage. And you know, especially with the new map Breeze coming out, like Breeze is not really like that. Like it does, it like, sorry, hold on. Yeah. It like is doesn't really reward passive play like it's more for like aggressive play and stuff because like there's so many angles to watch and there's like so many lurks and all that stuff and not only that but like there's like yeah there's just so many passageways and like you can't even put all of your util and trip wires and all that stuff in the passageways and stuff like that so next off we have jet now jet is going to be an easy s tier best agent in the game i mean like she's going to be pretty much s tier or best agent in the game in all of these she's just so good and like if you, she's one of those agents that like if you keep on um perfecting her and if you master her then you'll be like insanely good like insane insanely good and you'll be able to easily carry games like if you like put in a put a lot of work into this agent then you will be insane with her she definitely needs a nerf if there was like an overpowered tier i'd probably put her in there but yeah she's she's the best agent in the game no doubt okay next off we have killjoy now killjoy suffers the same thing with cypher i'm not really gonna go like too into too depth like too much depth into this because it's like literally the exact same thing as cypher has now with omen he's gonna be an easy s tier again he's amazing i still think jet is a little bit better but this guy is insane he's so versatile you play passive aggressive and his smokes are just so good and like the outplay potential with him like he is just so good like he smokes he could play aggressive he could like reposition himself he has like sort of mobility i don't really know if his teleport counts as a, as mobility but still he's just so good next off with phoenix again this is gonna be um a controversial pick but he's gonna be b tier for me like i feel like there's a lot of other duelists that are better than him and because like well he's like a jack of all trades almost he suffers the same thing well yeah he's just a he's just like a jack of all trades and stuff it's kind of like sky basically and not only that but the new map breeze like it doesn't really favor him he's not really gonna be that good on breeze and next off, we have um, Raze. I'm gonna put Raze at the bottom of A tier. Now, Raze is like really, really good, but again, there are duelists that are better than her. She's been going into the meta a bit. She did kinda get nerfed by the blast, like the satchel. I don't really know if that's a nerf. I, I mean, I guess it might be, but like, yeah, she's pretty good, especially on split. She's like a must pick, but you know, she's a pretty good duelist. Next off with Reyna, again, she's going to be S tier. Like if you are, if you really, really think that you're like the best in the game, like in terms of mechanics and like movement and all that stuff with Reyna, like you're just going to be insane. You're just going to carry every single game. And like, dude, like if you're just like much, if you actually think that you're in like much better than like Immortals or like even some Reyns, then you're just going to do insane with this character. And if you are better than them, like you know, you're just a force to be reckoned with. No one will want to go up against you next off with sage now sage is going to be s tier now i know how 
how I said like sentinels aren't meta or whatever, but sages is insanely good. Like with all the like aggressive duelists and stuff, I feel like like sages is really really good with like her two slows and her wall. Not only that, but that like she could heal herself, and the and you could just like do cheeky walls and heal yourself and stuff, and you'll and that'll like allow her to be like aggressive and stuff. Like, I don't, like, you, Sentinels aren't usually supposed to be aggressive and stuff, but, like, with Sage, you could easily pull off being aggressive, and if you just, like, you know, like, if someone, like, like, I don't know, like, does, like, 60 damage to you or whatever, you could just heal all the way back up. I mean, not all the way back up, but, like, you know, you'll heal, you'll heal 60 health, so you could take engagements. Next off with Sky, I'm gonna put her at B tier. Now, Sky is like a jack of all trades. She's much worse in the in the lower heals because of how hard she is to play. And yeah, like she's just insanely hard to play. But like in this elo, she's like you know you you're gonna have the skills to play her like definitely for sure. But she's still like a jack of all trades. She isn't really that good still. I feel like a, like a slight buff to her, just like a slight buff to her dog, and she would be like pretty good like an A tier agent. I already like um discussed this in like my last video where I said like, like sky is bad for neebs or whatever and like I just went into more depth in that video so if you want like more depth into why I think sky isn't really that good and why sky is like insanely hard to play then definitely go watch that video. Now with Silva, I mean why wouldn't he be S tier? He's hard to play but like you have the skills to play him in this elo. <laughs> He, I feel like, I think he was a, like kind of stagnant. I I'm pretty sure it was the same place he was in the mid elo tier list. He might be like one place off, but like I still think Omen, like Omen is a, Omen and Jet are pretty much essential in almost every single map. Silva is like, like absolutely terrible on split, so that's why he's gonna be third place. But he's still like insane. Like you still pretty much need him. And next off with Viper now. Viper is definitely going to be A tier. Now, Viper is pretty insane. Like, he's almost like a mini sentinel with, like, how her um, walls and, like, her smoke thingies, like, decay your health and all that stuff. And Viper, like, you know, she's pretty hard to play. But, like, now you start being able to play her better. And, like, yeah, she's just going to be insane at, uh, like, stopping rushes. Because, like, no one is going to want to push through her wall. Especially with that, like, 50 decay thing. Next off, Yodu. Now, all of you guys are going to hate me. I still think he is the worst agent in the game. Like, right below Brimstone. Like, I feel like he just... I just feel like... Man, like, his footsteps, are, they are just not good. Like, I feel like you can't have an agent that's, like, really, really good if, like, one of their abilities is pretty much useless. Like, his footsteps are just... You almost never get any value of them. They never really fool anybody. If they find, I feel like the footsteps should like trigger more util. Like it should, I feel like it should break like cipher trips and trigger alarm bots and all that stuff. Then I feel like it would be a, a really good ability. But like, I just can't put an agent in like B tier if one of their abilities is absolutely terrible. Not only that, but his flash is still a bit mediocre. And again, his ulti is just really not that good. I mean, I feel like the pullout time definitely did benefit him. He's still the worst agent in the game. I might put him in B tier, but still, I, I still think, like, in this elo, especially, you're not really gonna fool that many people with his tricks and all that stuff. And next off, finally, with Astra. Astra is pretty insane. She's, like, insanely underrated. I'm pretty sure that's just because she's a new agent. Not many people have unlocked her. And still, like, there's just so much, like, combos and, like, stuff that you can do with your utility. I love how, like, it's not just like smokes like you could just like turn like stars into like smoke stuns or pulls or whatever she's just insane like technically i'm pretty you could get like five smokes almost or like five stuns or five pulls like you have so much versatility with her and you could do like so many executes and like stuff with that and her utility is just insane not only that but her ulti is pretty much insane also like not many people are gonna want to push that Okay, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and tell me if you would change anything in the tier list. Also, sorry my speaking is kind of bad. I know, like, I'm just not very good at it. Like, once I start doing more videos, I should, I should hopefully get better at it. Anyways, have a good day.